Hi, I'm Adrian Salisbury and welcome to another video in this series on Ecamm Live. In this video, we're going to be looking at the virtual camera feature, which is a pro feature and in my mind, well worth the difference of you paying the extra for the pro account. So the idea of this virtual cam is that we can use Ecamm and all the rich features that it has and we can then use this as a feed to another application and probably the most common of those would be Zoom. Now if you're a Canon DSLR user and you're plugging in through USB and using the features in Ecamm, this means that you can now use your Canon DSLR camera as your feed into Zoom. If like me, you use a HDMI lead and connect it that way, well there's still benefits why we should use this rather than Zoom. Let me demonstrate. If I open up Zoom and um, without needing to open a meeting, I can go to my video settings and it's got my, by default, it's got my camera in here and uh, there's my USB capture. That's the feed coming straight in from my video camera. Now, as I say, you can't use a Canon over USB to zoom in the same way that you can to Ecamm. So if that's your scenario, then this is definitely worth using. Now, why, when I've got a feed already come in, would I want to go through Ecamm and use that into here? Well, let me show you. When I'm in Ecamm, remember I can put branding on here. I can do things like this. Uh, when I'm working in here, I could very easily run through a set of testimonials and I can bring them onto the screen. If I'm doing a live support call, which is typically what I might do in Zoom, I don't have to have had everything ready to go. Um, in Zoom, yes, I can share my screen, but it's quite clunky because I'm, you know, you can see my files and everything while I'm working through it, trying to find an image. If I wanted to bring this in, uh, then, you know, I can be off, off screen here and going through my uh, files down here and finding the one that I want and I go, yep, yeah, brilliant, let's grab that and bring that in. Now that's just appeared over on my Zoom feed, but you haven't seen all of this going on. It's much slicker. I can also use these features with my extra cameras. Uh, if I'm going to do a screen share, remember I can have a picture in picture over the top of it. I can't do that in Zoom. So there's a lot of reasons why I would want to feed through this and take it out. So just to demonstrate now the difference, if I bring in that uh, text that I had at the bottom of here, uh, let's pop my name on. I've got my branding at the top. So how do we turn this on to do the virtual camera? Well, first time we come at it, it's going to be at the bottom of our outputs and it will say to us, install virtual cam. Give it permission. We get a little notice saying that it's uh, now going to be a camera available to most apps. Click OK. And it automatically starts it up. So over here, it gives a little symbol that tells me it's on. So I can turn it off from here if I want, I can uninstall it if I want, or I can come back over to the outputs virtual cam and I can turn it off there. Now that it's installed, anytime you come back to it, virtual cam, simply turn it on. It's not going anywhere until we use it, but when I come back into Zoom and I go into my settings, I go into video, and in addition to these ones, look, there's Ecamm Live virtual cam at the bottom of the screen. So this at the minute is my, uh, HDMI feed coming through. When I tick down here, same picture, but now this is feeding in through Ecamm and look, I've got that branding and things on here and uh, I can minimize that. That could be my feed going out to Zoom and actually I can be working from here. Let's drop that down there for now. So I can be working up here, I'm doing my live, I'm doing my presentation, uh, whatever that might be and everything that I'm changing up here is changing in Zoom in real time. Hopefully that makes sense. A fantastic feature, really powerful, especially if you're on a Canon DSLR, it's now just made that available for you to send it out. And all I've got to do to turn it off is come up here to the little icon and tick it off, and now that feed isn't going to be available and going out. It's just disappeared from this list, or it's frozen on there. Um, it's gone. So that's the virtual cam. It's not only for Zoom, anywhere that is looking for a webcam, so it might be that you're doing Webinar Jam or somebody like that, instead of looking for your webcam or an external webcam, you can now use your camera, feed straight through here. Even if you're not using the features of Ecamm and just purely, purely using it as a feed out, really worth doing. As I say, this is a pro feature and in my opinion, this is the reason why you would upgrade to pro rather than the basic package. All right, 
If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you in another video.